this one. And ah, I'm live. Hello, fellow viewers. Finally, I get to say this. This is your King Relic speaking, and we just finished a demo of Defiance. Well, it's not a demo for me, but a demo preview for you. It's up to you if you want to you know, download Glyph and create a library of games. This is another one of them. This is Rift. And here, I am a mage. I'm not going to say I'm all powerful, but it's kind of nerdy. Anyway, so here's the thing. We just finished uh, doing Defiance. I am now doing a process of uh, previewing for you guys Rift and see what it's like. Now here's the confusing part. Most players for uh, Rift would try so hard to transition from one game to another. And, excuse me, um, they were um, expecting like their own private dimension and there was word going on about having your own home set up so that you could have something to modify and I'll show you what I mean here in a bit so we're gonna begin there we go yes we're in sanctum There we go. And another recording review about what this is going to be like. I set uh, my hotkeys to something specific. So on the right side here, which, yeah, and your view would be over there, um, I have my soul trees. And this one in particular is my elementalist. I'm not completely finished building my pyro just yet. I was, you know, working on it in the process. So, uh, I'm going to show you what this baby or bad boy can do. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. And the controls are a lot different, mind you, and it's hard to transition back and forth between them all. Um, I'm going to quick summon Diablo. You didn't have to do that. This lag is really getting me. Alright, so we now have Diablo. And this is what puzzles me. Whenever I first reached level 60, he was about my height. But now that they uh, changed the max level to 65, he is so much shorter. You need to fix that. Because it's sending confusing messages. So, here we have a hit count. I would prefer to do this in my dimension. Oh, I can do this in my dimension. Pop up the dimension list and we can go to Asgard. You'll see why I called it that in a minute. I have test dummies of my own. So yeah, you'll have extremity of keys that you can buy off the uh, cash shop, which is known here as the Rift Store. And what you do with them is your business, but I prefer to decorate with a settlement of ease. And being that we're here, I can finally test it out. He's on, what is this, defensive, so he's not going to attack any nearby enemies like ever. Let me see here. Well, let's make him passive for this one. Because I like to show off his, uh, my abilities. My simple lightning strike. 16... 1,788 damage. 
And then I have my short spell, which is continuous. You can see the hits there. And then I have my win key, which a friend of mine helped me set up, so. Oh wait, that wasn't my win key, that was my burst. Yep, 3500 to max. Now this is my win key. Doing Ks of damage. There's like a lot of buffs and attacks and with it, so that's one of them. And people say I don't know how to use my spells. AoE! And with a simple combo of the head, let's try that max power. And that dummy would have been dead instantly. So, that out of the way, I want to show you my Necromancer. Oh, gotta back up first. Targets have a tendency of not letting me change my souls until I move away from the target. There we go. Now I'm going to show you a massive grave effect, but first... Wrong, I want a death knight. Not death assassin. And voila. Massive grave summons. Now I could pretty much do anything I want with this because... Well, technically I can. Now, here's how it works. I have three summons to pull off. One being my insect thing, or parasite thing. And then I have my grave summons, which are on separate keys. Parasite comes in on a different key, and my massive grave effect comes in. And there's the parasite. So we have that. Now, here's the key. <coughs> Excuse me. The Parasite is an effect within the opponent that you're facing. It has a tyranny to it, like a flesh-eating virus. And then there's a physical effect where the insect actually pops out after enough flesh was eaten. Um, he manifests into that effect and starts charging in with the rest of the... the uh, Guardians, well, pets, as I summon them. And there you go. And I have a mind break spell here, if I point it at it correctly, because you can't exactly see my mouse. Yep, right there. So, yeah, I'm viewing over Twitch, so I don't, you know, screw things up, but apparently, um, yeah, there we have it. Now, there's a lot of to this game that resembles, uh, uh, defiant, and, or yeah, Defiance, sorry, in a way, such as, get rid of my minion here, uh, the Defiance events, which they released Hellbug Rifts, and I'm going to show you what that encountered for me. The red Hellbug mount, uh, 
as you see here. Maybe you'll see it better this way. Wait, was it control you? Yeah, there we go. There. Wait, whoops. Camera's turning a different angle. Yeah, so we have the red hellbug mount. And then we have the red hellbug companion. Which, by the way, I hunted for these. You have an option to choose either or. Uh, there we go. I need my companion list. Let's see, we have mounts, companions. That's not it. Oh, here they are. My little red hellbug companion. <sighs> Which is right here. And now you'll get to see that for whatever reason that Rift was working on this, we now have. Shoot, which key was that? I forgot. No, there we go. It was that one. So. If I go to my uh, minion list, come on, there you go. I also have a red hellbug minion. I've earned and bought all of these, mind you, like later on since they came out. <laughs> Not right after, but you know, periodically this year. So I have. All three things that are related to Hellbugs in re reference to the event, so there we go with that. Now, I wouldn't go with any more Hellbug events because um, I'm not that really keen on Defiance with Rift. Because, you know, they have these new mounts that they came out with through the event, you know, with the free handouts and stuff. I haven't really gone to those. They have Ghost, yeah, was it Ghost Hellbug and uh, Decay Hellbug or whatever? I can't remember. And uh, so on and so forth. Now, if you actually, you know what? Let me fix that real quick. All right. We're going to take a visit outside. Because I can't exactly show you the map from in here. Any time now. There we go. Now this is new. Pull that up here. We have a new region since Rift then came out with the Primalist series. Uh, this new island here. Now before that we had a under siege island which uh, came for the infinity gate and or came with the infinity gate, sorry anyway so yeah um you have a variety of things to do but if I can actually get this to work without the lag uh soul recall I'm gonna show you what the maps I was already at max charge. Where's my soul recall? Oh, wait. Okay, wait up. I'm 
Okay, let me use gloom one. As we see here, this is a portal. We travel with these Welcome. quite frequently. We just gotta reach every single one in a nearby area, which would be 20 meters away, and you automatically pick one up off the map. So these are the three maps, two basically new ones. Now this one was new since last year and I've started this I think in 2013 um, it's not too new but yeah I uh, compiled all the markers of each portal and so on and so forth didn't get really much done or very much done and this is completely new came with the primalist series which of course I've mapped out all together and to be honest it's hard to be 65 if any of you defiant players can actually clue me in on what's going on over in that area I would like the help because um trans or yeah, transitioning between two games is kinda awkward Especially when there's like a few references that you know cling to likeness, such as how to pull up your map, and if there is a mini map, but you don't have a companion such as Ego in Rift, and that's fine. I'm not complaining, I'm not bragging, you know, it's just fine. The one thing that they got straight or you know, got straight was the chat because they were needing to fix the chat for a very long time now. Last night was the first time I've actually got to download it and try it myself, which is fun. Now I had a heck of an experience. That last mission that you guys were watching me do while I was being attacked by the Road Raiders, I actually had it finished and I was being stealthy about it. Sorry that you missed it. Um, but yeah, uh, let me know if there is something like Dimensions that are re referenced to Rift, because this was a review of the past. I mean, the longest past. Try 2,000, maybe 5,000 years, 50,000 even. Kind of like the Dark Ages. But if you take a look at Defiance, it shoots further on into the future from now. Now... Gloriously die heroically. Yeah, thank you. Now, there's a reason why I play MMOs, and it's not because I don't like playing single-handed games, it's because some of them are free. Sorry Blizzard, you cut your lines too short. Now, other means, you've seen me play DMO, which is an awesome game. You've seen me play Defiance, another awesome game and now Rift. You have your choice between um, let's see, game related issues. Game King, which will be linked somewhere in the playlist of uh, Digimon Masters because they have a new server out and they fixed every issue that they had continuing or concerning that sort. <laughs> There's that. Uh, Tryon will have a glyph download for you to do. Of course, you will eventually sign up for it. It's not pay to play, it's a choice. Uh, all of these MMOs are free if you choose to play them at your own terms. Now, um, glyph and Game King are two different entities to download from. So if you were, you know, 
wise enough to understand that right away. Thank you. And for those that needed me to explain that, well, you're going to have to do some research on your own. Um, so yeah, we finished all the tutorials. We got everything out of the way. Mind you, all you got to do is sign up. These are play for free. It is your choice to play to play or pay to play or play as you go. I like to pick things up during rifts and if by chance arc falls. Um, but DMO has something less valuable in that area because we have to go dungeon raiding for something like that. So past, present, future, I'm all set to go. This is your King Willick speaking, and I'm ending the tutorial because I jabber too much, as you can tell. Uh, I'll see you soon.